by him. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today, as you can tell by the description, we're doing an oil pressure gauge because the STIs for some reason don't come with one. I know the WRXs do come with a digital oil pressure gauge built into the center cluster up on the dash. I don't have that for some reason. I don't know why they did not put that in the STIs. So we are going with the single little cubby gauge here. I forgot who makes that, uh, but it's gonna go right down if you've seen any of my past videos where I keep my airlift performance controller down in that little cubby down there. It's gonna end up going down there and I'm just gonna end up moving the controller over a little bit. So, I mean, this is a pretty straightforward install. Um, we have the oil pressure gauge itself the cubby piece, and then I picked up an adapter for the oil galley that we're gonna be tapping into onto the block. A lot of people tap into the front oil galley underneath of the alternator. I don't think the sensor from AEM is gonna end up fitting in there because it's a pretty big sensor. So I'm gonna be tapping into the rear oil pressure, or the rear oil galley uh, by the turbo intercooler area. So that way it'll give me a little more room to get that gauge in there. Um, it's a little less accurate than going off of where the dummy sensor is right up in the front uh, underneath of the alternator. But this is more or less as a fail safe kind of thing. Like, oh my God, I've lost all the oil pressure. My car's about to blow up, turn it the fuck off. Um, rather than, hey, I need to know if it's one to two oil, oil pre or PSI um, from what it's actually reading. So I'm fine using the rear oil galley plug rather than the front one. Um, if you've seen any of my prior install gauge videos, uh, troubleshooting uh, the boost gauge or the air fuel ratio gauge, this should be pretty similar to those. Um, the wiring harness, power, ground, signal, uh, it's going to be very easy to do. So let's just jump into installing this. Um, we're going to hop into the car. We're going to start getting all the wiring ran. Uh, we're going to do the sensor last. So we're going to do wiring and then sensor um, just because that's the, that's the order I feel like going in today. So why not do it that way? I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm still shooting in 24 frames per second today also. Um, so if 24 frames per second still looks a little weird and you'd rather have 60 frames per second, let me know. Um, all my older videos, except the one that just came out, is all 60 frames per second. So drop it in the comments which frame rate you think looks better and uh, we'll stick with that for the future videos. So we're gonna jump into the car. We're gonna start installing this guy. Alrighty folks, we're back in the Subaru once again. You can't see my face, but you can see my hands. You can see what I'm doing, so that's all that matters. All right, so right here we have our gauge wiring. And what I need to do is feed that wiring down through this hole that I have in here. Um, how in the hell? That's not a big enough hole, I can tell you that right now. How in the hell do I get this? I just need to get this portion up through. Um, so let me pull this guy out. And, uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, I can already see that that hole's not, not quite big enough there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill this up a little bit. This is not the ideal way of making a hole. I'm gonna tell you that now, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Cause that's who I am. Like I said, if I don't have the right tool for a job, I'm gonna make it work, and look at that. We made it work. We made it fucking work, guys. So our wiring comes through there. I need to do power to one side, and then the sensor to the other. So signal one side, power the other. So I'm gonna flip that guy, do a flip job there. The sensor wiring here, I'm going to have protrude down the side of uh, this and we're gonna run it behind the glove box kind of like we did for that dash cam wiring and then the power wires are gonna come out the other side down here so we've got power and ground going off to the driver's side signal and sensor going off to the passenger side and then with that we're gonna take this guy feed that wiring harness through there can be back in I can plug that guy back in over there you can't even see the hole that I drilled back there, which is good, very good. And then we're gonna get that gauge plugged in through this little console guy here. So we've got our cubby piece and our oil pressure gauge. I'm going to slide the oil pressure gauge through and get him pressed in. And he's gonna sit down right there, which actually, I kinda like that spot. You're not gonna be able to see any of this wiring. All right, so now with that, we can get this guy stuck up where we want him. Just right there, like that. Oh, 
Alright. We got our oil gauge mounted down here. I'll grab the camera and I'll bring it up here after we have power going to it so that way we can see a cycle and everything like that, make sure it works. But I'm gonna grab the camera, I'm gonna bring it around here and uh, we'll start running power and ground to the gauge just to make sure it works. So I just went through, I ran the power for the oil pressure gauge right there down to where I had the power for all my other gauges. Now in theory, if I turn this on, that gauge should turn on. Look at that. So now we have boost, air fuel ratio, and oil pressure right there. Turn that off. So now what we need to do is we need to take that sensor wire and run it up into the engine bay and then get it tapped into the rear O2 or the rear oil galley up there. So I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up real quick. I'm just gonna zip tie all the wires down here up back and away and then get this panel uh, plugged back in and get this covered back up. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll jump up into getting that wire and up to the firewall over here and then to the rear of the car. So we're making progress on this oil pressure gauge. I'm excited to get it in. Hey! Got Sam here! Surprise! Wait, that? open it. Big ass cookie! Wait, hold on. It's all right, so just got the power in, got all that picked up. The gauge works. Um, Matt just got here, so we're gonna review the engine to find that rear galley plug. And then uh, once we find it, we'll grab the camera, we'll show you guys where we're routing it. So we'll be right back. Oh, shit, this is a fucking awful. Who the fuck would want to do this? Who the, why do people put oil pressure gauges in their car? I don't know, it's got a dummy light already. You know if it's gonna blow up. It's, yeah, when, it, when the dummy light comes on, it's already blown up. Exactly, you know when it's too late. I need, That's a, why I need a stubby 17. Huh? What you got? I don't know, what, what, what do you got here? What is that? That was a failed attempt. No! Oh! <laughs> God. Cool. So the current predicament. Let me give you some light. Some light. Oh, okay, thank you. So the current predicament right now is uh, there is our oil pressure sensor, and then there is a nipple. We're being off stopped the pipe. off the crossover pipe for coolant that goes back up here to that nipple right there on the throttle body. So how do we make this work? Why the fuck are you looking at me? How do I make this work? We see how much further we can thread that in and if we're able to get it to where it can clear itself. Basically, we, we need to get the 24 thread on your sensor down far enough to where the piece is going to stick out like this and go over it. Because if it stays like this, we only got like this much room. And can we not? Can we, is there no way to route that? We can't bend that nipple at all? No. It literally comes straight off the crossover pipe. Okay. And it's a straight fucking nipple and it's pressed in. God damn it, Subaru! So. This is troublesome. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't know why people recommend this route. It's a shitty routing. <laughs> no, you don't say. It's a whole lot of work for some uh, not gonna work. Uh, why do do this? This is probably why people say to get a relocation kit. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna do a Google real quick, and then we'll we'll check back in. All right, update on this situation. Uh, we failed due to that nipple. <laughs> Matt's laughing in the background. So I had to order this this. Fuck, hold up. I had to order this Pro Sport remote oil pressure temperature sender thing, so that way we could relocate that sensor away from that nipple. So this has been a complete failure on my part. So. Once I get that in, we're gonna end up, uh, Matt and I are gonna end up getting that reassembled. So right now we're gonna end up taking that sensor out, that galley plug adapter out, and uh, putting in the plug back in. I'm gonna get the rest of the engine bay reassembled, and then I'm gonna call it a night. So, if this video helped you fail, or not fail, like, like we failed, they're way back there. I didn't help. Sam didn't help, but she was, she was great support. So, if this video helped you not fail like I failed, um, go ahead, smash the like button, slap like now. Lamau. <laughs> Slept like now. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I fuck up sometimes like I like here, so maybe my fuck ups will save you from fucking up in the future. Anyways, I appreciate the time everyone spent with me, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Give me a woo. Peace out.
You got a woo. Woo. That was awful. Woo.